first. All right, now I'm recording. All right, so Ter so Terry Ann, Ashley, I know you're not on it, Lauren, Casey. First thing that we're going to do is each and every one, Ashley, Lauren, and Terry, I'm going to assign 25 leads each to you. And if you can work on five leads a day and keep track of it, and then next Tuesday, we're going to talk lessons learned. I can't do this. I don't do this. I don't know how to do this, but we just got to dive in. So I'm going to give everybody 25 leads. They may be older leads, but I've got a pool of 1300. We can get something out of it. If anything, it'll get us to get our system in place for calling, texting, double dialing, you know, keep reaching out, get them on a drip campaign. It'll get us formatted to do that. The other thing, Ashley and Terry, just to catch up, I just started recording is that I'm making everybody a digital business card. So when you talk or texting somebody, you can say, hello, send this right away and then introduce yourself. I really feel, and I think it's been helping me and I'm not saying I'm freaking beautiful or anything. When they see a name with the face, it is helping me get them engaged. It really, I think it's professional. I think it's standing out and I think it's identifying them right, you know, just right away. So uh, the first five leads that you take, you can text, say, hello. Um, I received an, or like, you know what? I'm gonna send you for not stale leads, but not, not leads that just called us today. I'm gonna, oh, actually quick one. Brian and Willie give it to us all the time. Hey, are you still thinking of buying a home in 2021? Is, or is, is buying a home in 2021 still a goal of yours? Something like that. It's a question where we want to reply. The biggest thing about leads and engaging is asking them questions so they respond. And that's, that's worked really well. That's been my mindset for four or five years now. Leaving it with a question so at least I can get the information. Okay. Um, get. Let's just... I think, well, let's focus on this week, whatever your time management is, let's focus on prospecting 30 minutes to, to 60 minutes with these leads that I give you. And I think, well, we're going to get there, but, I, and there's some of them, there's a lot of them that are still looking in Zillow and I just don't have the time. Like everybody, I get these alerts and I'm like, oh my God. So what I'm probably going to do is look at the last 50 that have been engaged. And those are the ones I'm assigning to all you guys. So at least I know they're touching Zillow, they're looking at Zillow, and then you're going to be assigned them in follow-up boss. So I'm doing that. To, I'm doing that today, right after we get off the call. That's my commitment. I'm under my own coaching mentoring myself here. Um, Not to get you off topic, but is there a way just for this week that because I'm going away tomorrow and I'm not coming back until Monday. Afternoon. Well, you still have to do it, Lauren. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I wish I could have the time, but. No, nope, that's fine. No, that's fine. Go enjoy your vacation. I'll start you next Tuesday. Okay. All okay. right. If you want to give me the. Unless you want me to sign them, just start working them next week. Okay. I can Is do it okay if I assign them? Like my because they're not waiting for your call. Stuff. Believe me, they're not waiting for your call right now because okay. they've been sitting in this damn lead pool. But what I want to do is get them out there to be assigned to you. So I'll okay. assign them, but understood that you're away. Okay. okay. Um, I, I'll get those digital business. So one, I'm getting everybody 25 leads. Two, I'm getting you a digital business card that you can save to your photos on your phone. So when you engage with someone on text or complete a conversation over the phone, this is something else I do. It was great speaking with you. I'll get that information to you via email. Thank you for your information and um, talk to you. You know, you said it next day. I'll follow up with you tomorrow at five o'clock. How's that work? And I always end that. How does that work? Is that good for you? Just because they're going to reply to me. Um, after your phone call with your lead, when you talk to a phone call with a lead, again, text them, digital business card. It was great speaking with you, looking forward to working with you. I'll send you the information right now. If you didn't already send that digital business card. So if it was the phone call that started, text them with the business card. If it's um, something they're not answering their phone, text them with the business card to get them to reply. Hey, is 2021 still the year you're looking to purchase a home? You know, something like that. Um, now from that question, okay, so then... Lauren, if they say yes, what are you going to say? Oh, 
we can set up a time to have a Zoom chat and yep. you know, talk Is that about what you're doing, Zoom you're chats? Doing. Because I really like the idea of Zoom chats rather than finding time to meet in person in an office. Yeah, that's, I feel basically like basically what I would, yeah, basically I'd go from that. Yes, it is. Oh, that's great. Um, that that's great. Can we sit, can I send you a zoom link where maybe we can take about a half hour. I can discuss the process with you and share some homes on the market that might interest you based on what you're looking for. If you just make it about the zoom call or just make it about the appointment and not giving them something like the homes they want to see, they might not do it, but, or you could go a layer further and say, do you guys have, now, do you have a, um, this is the one other thing I wanted to share on top of the digital business card. Do you have a business uh, buyer presentation? The one that um, is on uh, workplace. Is it Willie's? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you personalize? Oh, it's fine. Did you personalize it? Um, I know I personalized the listening one. I took like a couple things out and, you know, made it my own, but not with the buyer one, no. All right. So the buyer one, the other thing that's been working really well for me, just as far as thinking a system and thinking something out for you guys, it's right here because I, I put it right here to talk to. So I did this buyer's guide. Okay. It's a buyer's guide and very easy, very easy to talk to about you, meet your agent, you make it real personal, um, meet your brokerage about Miranda, and then home purchase, all the steps about home purchase, kind of more of an easier read than the PowerPoint. But what I did with this, I made it a flip book. It's, um, it's like, I'm going to send this to you. Okay. Again, I will share this with you guys. And you guys can personalize it in Canva. When you make it a flip book, it's so cool. I'll send it to you guys. So basically you can follow up with an email and say, hey, Jane Smith, it was great chatting with you or talking with you about your future um, home purchase plans. Um, I've set you up on the MLS search based on the criteria you gave me, but I also, here's, and I hope you send a link to a Zoom. If you can't get a Zoom, send them this flip book. I'm going to write a top 10 list. I have the top 10 list because I wrote it for myself. Um, the flip book, it's just a link. You click on the link and the book, uh, it's not like a slideshow, like where you have to click the slide. It just flips and it's free. And you just upload it into flipped.html.com or something like that. And I'll give that to you. This is value. Okay. We've got, we've got to show our value. Preferred vendors. I put preferred vendors in here. This can be, uh, you can use the flip book as a preview to the Zoom to say, this is what we're going to be discussing. So if you happen to be able to go through this before our Zoom meeting, um, I'll be able to answer any questions for you. I mean, literally talks about types of mortgages, um, home purchase steps. Uh, these are the 12 steps. What happens like the inspection, the mortgage contingency. Um, when you have your, I have, um, important terms, but I have preferred lenders here. So here's Linda DeLuke, Joji Lorenzo. All right, I have preferred vendors for um, home inspectors, landscapers, pest control and attorneys, okay? Again, they don't have to use these, but these are just people that I work with every day. Here from my clients, if you don't have testimonials yet, put mine in, just use mine. I don't know, change your name. And then final, you know, just something like this. This gives them value. We've got to feed their need of standing out from the competition, not just listing appointments, but buyer appointments. There's a process to buying a home. I want to make sure that you have all the steps and you, do, and you don't make any, you know, you, you want to guide them through the process of making one of the biggest investments of their life. It's really important if they could take 15 to 20 minutes with the Zoom call with you to understand the importance of what you do for them. And it's absolutely free. Okay, so if they're serious about home buying, they really, and I like to get excited for them. And when I get excited for them, they seem to get a little bit more excited. Okay, and if they don't have their pre-approval yet, energy. what's that? They can beat off your energy. So. Yeah, definitely. And if they, um, if they even don't have their pre-approval, still get that Zoom. 
get that Zoom. Say, you know what? I'll guide you through that process. I'll give you referrals of lenders. Maybe once we speak, maybe there's a match that I know based on your personality, you might work really well with. It can be intimidating when you're giving personal financial information, right, to someone that you've never met before. I've personally worked with these people and I think you would be a good fit for, you know, that would be, you know, a personal recommendation. But again, their own bank would be a great, great, you know, solution too. So this has been digital business card, this flip book. Um, and then this flip book, same thing you use in a Zoom. Okay. I am developing a couple other things for, for drip campaigns of visuals um, for buyers, but we won't even go there. Right now it's about leads, texting, emailing, calling, and trying to get a buyer. That's what I'm going to say. It's not even going to be a buyer appointment a buyer Zoom to show the value of you, why they should work with you, okay? Let's get that mindset. Let's get the Zoom calls, you know? Um, let's not think about, oh, I gotta get my buyer agency set. Let's get the Zoom call. Let's get in front of them, 15, 20 minutes. I really, really am excited to show you the value that I have as a full-time realtor, to show you what I can do to find your home that you're looking for, okay? And also the other thing that we should always stress, not only on market properties, but we have 80 agents that share, you know, coming soon listings and sometimes, or, and there are many times that we're made aware of um, properties that haven't hit the market. But you can also say for sale by owner, you know, you can, you can look at for sale by owners, all that other stuff. I wouldn't make it too detailed. Just get them excited to work with you. That's really what I want to do through these buyer leads and show them the value of you. So digital business card, this the 25 leads, digital business card, and getting them on a drip campaign. So follow up boss, I am going to be putting, I am looking at their buyer, their buyer drips are pretty good. So basically you're gonna get a lead, you call, and then what's next? And I'm just doing a small flow chart. So if you called them and set them up on MLS, then the drip campaign is going to be different than if you called them, they said they're not ready yet. Well, would you mind if I just kept in touch with you through some emails of information about the buying process? Great. Okay. Then that's a drip campaign. Um, if they're cold and they're like, no, and hang up on you, we're get we're going to put them in the cold pot. Like we're going to, they're going to go, I'm going to label it, you know, stale, or I don't want to get rid of them, but I want to label it that you've tried to qualify them. They've absolutely told you no. Okay. And I don't care. Even if they told you, no, I'm still going to drip on them somewhere. So whatever that's going to be, whatever I call it, um, I'll, I'll set something up for them, but this is for you guys to fish and call practice dialogue, practice a system of digital business card, getting a zoom, having your buyer book. Okay. Let's get you set up with that. All right. And, um, I really, these leads, we have 12, 1300 leads. They're still coming in. I definitely can't keep up with them. It's not that I want to, but I'm also getting pulled in a couple, couple different directions, but I'm not going to stop lead generating. These buyers ultimately are going to buy. And right now with the change of the market, I mean, the rates went down yesterday, actually. I just don't see still a lot of listings. Yeah. I don't know. And I've got very, very unreasonable. Christina really killing me. <laughs> what? The two family houses and connected. Oh my God. Really killing my soul. <laughs> so how many do you have? How many buyers? I just have my one guy, but he's FHA. And me too. I got the same. Where happening. did you just, did you just put offers in again? Yep. Where? Oh God. Where was it? Palmer. Palmer app. Okay. Yep. Was that the brick concrete one? No, it no. was not. It was a corner lot and it had a garage behind. Oh yeah. Gary Packer. Yes. Yeah. Was that multiple offer? Yep. I didn't even show it because um, my client decided on something else that shouldn't get either. I'm on like 16th offer with my two family. And I've done a lot. I, he, the first offer we wrote for him back in like the end of March, it was the lead that you gave me. Yeah. Um, he had the offer accepted, but his mom didn't like it enough. So he took it back. I'm like, you could have had a home. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's his name? <laughs> what's his name? Um, Ephraim. Yeah, they're all. Rah Rahama. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Ephraim. <laughs>
Yeah, I see them coming up a little bit more. They're in a little different areas. The other thing I will tell you with two families, there's one guy, his name is Subkash, S-U-B-K-A-S or Subhash. He's um, the New York State MLS. He only does New York State MLS. So when buyers call me, I'm like, I don't see it on MLS. And I'm like, oh my God, this is Subhash or somebody. And, oh, he's and, in my phone. We, yeah. Good, <laughs> good. Because he had one on um, Howard Street. Yeah, I think it was Howard. So the one I was supposed to list at 1540, 37 or 39 State Street, the single family for Maheshwar that I told you I'm not listing anymore. I gave him a price, the seller. Um, it's a God awful house on State Street. And he thinks it's like Taj Mahal. And I told him 140 to 149. Subhash the next day had his sign up for 199. Have it. I am not. God oh bless you God. if you get it too. God bless you. But I wasn't, I gave that key right back. Um, I think yeah, so make sure you're looking at New York State. How... Emma. What, honey? No, I'm sorry. I don't know why like this whole thing is going on. I know I've been shown how well, at least I think I do, how to get into this. Can we have access to the state, like to see all of his listings? Or do we just yeah. have to call him and go Do you have New York State MLS username and password? I think so. Let's, but, like, um... how do you access it? Okay. Let me, um, I'm going to reach out to Tina and Trish and have them send out, especially with all your new agents, your New York state username and password. I remember we got set up because Willie's a broker that is involved with near is not involved is, um, he takes care of that for us. Doesn't he? Yes. Yes. He pays okay, for so that yeah, membership. I I so in my password book. So what I'm going to do is, right. um, Casey. Yeah. Can you help me with this? Yes, I can. New York State MLS, just put the girls on CC, Ashley, yep. Terry, me, because I actually, I don't even know mine anymore. And yep. just all of us that. and ask what our username and passwords are and where we can go if there's a link that we have to reset anything, but just how we get access. Yeah, it's in, it's in my password book. And I don't know if I they have it on Workplace, New York State MLS. Maybe mention to the girls, if they might want to put a... a folder there for New York State MLS. That's becoming a bigger deal right now. It is because a lot of people too want to target down downstate and have MLS will. And you can help. enhance even your listings in New York State MLS. Right. But the other thing is there's agents like Subhash, Subhash, Subkash, I don't know what his name is. They don't want to pay global MLS dues. So that's why they only use New York State MLS. Mm. They don't have to pay the $1,300, but see the exposure they're missing with yeah. all of us agents. There's a lot of brokerages and companies that don't take part. They never bought into New York State MLS. Still a great tool, especially downstate, especially West. They all bought into it because they were, I think they were just um, going against their own MLS. So when this happened with um, the lady that did it, super nice, great lady, um, Willie, he really supported it for them three or four or five years ago. So yeah, if we can get an email, we'll get our usernames. Yes. That way you can look at New York State MLS too. Um, so right now, I guess the plan is 25 leads. I know you're going away. That's fine. Have an awesome time. Where are you going? California. Oh, big Ooh. trip. My cousin's getting married. So. Oh, fun. Very nice. What part? Malibu. Oh, not bad either. <laughs> no, I want to go to California so bad. So you're li leaving tomorrow? Yep. My flights, I take off at 630. So awesome. Go to bed at like eight o'clock tonight. I know you got to get there at like 435. Yeah. That's awesome though. Have fun. Enjoy Thank it. You. I'm excited. And then you're back when? Um, I'm taking the red eye because I'm crazy. Um, Sunday night, <laughs> I land at noon on Monday. Okay. All right. Well, let us know Tuesday, 9 a.m. We're going to do the same call. I'll okay. send out the same link with some notes on what I'm doing here. All right. But the, the, the two things, we'll customize a digital business card for you. But the buyer book, I'll just share my template and you guys can customize it. If you, you know, you just plug in your information. That's all. Okay. All right. I think that's it. I really just want to get to converting some, you know, converting some leads. And I think you're real comfortable with that. Mm-hmm. All right. And how's uh, Leah? Mm -hmm. I couldn't think we of her name. We put an offer in, what is it? 4, 479, I believe is the address, Old Miss Buna Road. 
Yeah. Put it in yesterday. Best and final. Well, no. Offers are due today at noon. But he, the listing agent, Giovanni Lisi, he's been in yeah. contact with me and he's like, it's a great offer. Very strong. I mean, it is FHA. Yeah. But we waived inspections, $5,000 deposit, and we did an escalation up to three fifty. dollars And what was the and list price? What? The what list was price? the list price? Three fourteen nine. Wow. Yes. But we did the starting price at three thirty three. Awesome. And they do have; they're going to be gifted. Okay. So hopefully, appraisal can come back well if we get accepted. But yeah. You said it is a strong offer, and how many bedrooms and baths? I hope um three bed is it three or three or four bedroom. What is it? It's three or four bedroom, but it's two and a half bath. Okay. Good square footage. Okay. Yes. Sounds I mean, like it, it should be kind of small, but it's still, you feel like it's open still. Move in condition. It's a big backyard, beautiful kitchen. It's, it's okay. Like the best one they've seen. Really? They are in love with it. So oh really my God. Yeah. I hate to see them lose it. I'm trying to think of how to be, you did the right thing. FHA with concessions or no? Canceled it out. Okay. So nothing wrong with the FHA, no inspections. That's huge. Mm-hmm. from 314 to 350 <laughs> and I know that he had an offer that expired yesterday at seven so that must have been a no-go so how many I'm offers did he have he didn't mention he he's didn't. waiting for the mall to come in by noon today so any letter you accommodated or attached do you do letters the like, like letter yeah we did one Yep. yep. So I'm almost thinking not to get them to spend more money. Someone else might think 352, but you have no inspection. So yeah. And no seller's concession. So and five thousand dollar deposit. Close whenever the seller can close, right? Are you flexible? Yeah, I made it a six week close because the sellers are already in another house. Oh, okay. Perfect. Who's the lender with her? Uh this one's a man of St. George on this one. On yep, somewhere. And they're All also right. with um, Eric Cruz. Oh, I hope she gets it. I know. Oh, my God. And then the but, one that they wanted, the Maryville one, where you knew the listing agent. I forget what her name no. was. No. But we... Um, I would have helped you with that. I was looking at, like, comparables. And that went for their, the same offer, but it was cash. Oh, nothing you can do with that. I know. but it just, And like, it sucks that that always has to made me feel better. Yeah, yeah. Well, they sound like they're, they're focused on, they're motivated to buy. They've stuck with you, which is great. You've probably Mm -hmm. written how many offers? Many. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And they're good people. So it makes it easier. Which makes it like enjoyable when they're not like, you know, telling you that I'm doing something wrong because their offer isn't getting accepted, but you know, yeah. Do you have anybody backing you up while you're gone? Um, Anthony. Oh, Anthony. Awesome. He's the dude. Okay, good. All right. Awesome. All right. So I'm just, I'm going to end this a little early right now. Digital business card Casey's going to do Casey will get an email out to all of us asking admin about the New York state MLS. Okay. And I am going to give you guys a link to the buyer book, get you 25 leads. And I need you all, cause this is being recorded. I need everybody, Ashley, Terry, Lauren, when you call leads, I need you to use follow-up boss for it. I've spent the last two months, a thousand dollars on it, not utilizing it. I myself too, but there's action plans in there. I don't know if you know, um, I'm going to give you the three action plans. So don't worry about that because you can get consumed. Do you want us to make the calls with follow-up boss or you can, can I use my cell phone? Because I tried it and it didn't work. <laughs> oh, it didn't? No, it, like it, they couldn't hear me. And then I never made a call through, through follow-up boss. I used my phone. Okay. I'll just I use my phone. And the way that I do it, whenever I was given leads, like if I had company generated leads, mm-hmm. um, I would save them in my phone. And, and I don't know if you have to do this cause I don't know how many people, but it would be like Chris Smith company generated. So you could do Chris Smith follow-up boss. So then you know where the lead is and then you can go back into follow-up boss. I haven't called from, I've texted from follow-up boss. Mm-hmm. Have you texted? I'm trying to think of what it looks like. 
because it's call, no, email, just email or text, call. and you can do it all from Follow Up Boss. Um, but I, I mean, you can myself. But what's that? I you do notes. Myself okay. Boss that right. I call. That Let's I just make sure that we do the one thing that I want to do for accountability of it all is the twenty five leads putting notes in on how you're going, how you're doing with them. So notes, um, I would like if you could text from follow-up boss to text from follow-up boss. If you can email from follow-up boss, email from follow-up boss. Cause I kind of want to be able to be, you know, circle back in like a month and see everybody's leads, what they're doing. Well, what emails are you sending? What text? Maybe we can change it up if it's not being successful. Okay. Mm -hmm. So many things going on. I don't know. Um, so whatever you do, <laughs> whatever, I, I'm like crazy lately. Ask Casey. I am like yes. shot. I'm shot. Yeah. I'm it's doing too much. Look on your face. You're just like I can't. <laughs> um, I love what I do. I'm not burnt out or anything. I'm just trying to do too many things and too much. Yeah, it's okay though. Um. So whatever you try to do, leads, notes, emails, and texts. Don't call because obviously that's not working. Notes, emails, texts, and follow up boss for whatever lead you have. And then we can all circle back to say, okay, well, you said this, you said this, this was a reply or they didn't reply. We can mastermind. How can we get a reply from these people? Okay. And we always want to get, if we don't have, um, if we only have email, we want to email drip campaign them. Okay. If we don't have, um, if we have phone and we don't have, e we always want that other piece of information. Hey, I've been trying to reach you on text or, you know, on text. Do you have an email? I'd love to send you some information or I've been emailing you something. Would it be okay if I texted you a link to my buyer flip book, my buyer, um, my buyer guide, you know, we can text that flip book thing too. So We'll get stronger. I just want to start getting the leads out. Let's get into some kind of vibe and just learn on getting better and converting leads and getting a Zoom appointment. We're not going to get everybody in person. Right? Everybody's busy with summer. Hey, if you don't mind 15, 20 minutes, you can even do it on your phone. I would just like to be able to get in front of you and show you the value that I can provide to you in your home buying needs. Okay. That's it. Go pack. <laughs> So much to do. I Go can't. hack and let me know about Leah. That would be a great send off for you. It would, right? Oh, yep, right. would be would be a great send off. Awesome. All right, I'm done. Casey, I've got a few things to do. <laughs> okay, Casey, you're coming here, right? Yeah, I just have a. Um, um, I mean, I don't need you if you're just coming for me because I have appointments at eleven thirty two and three. Okay. I have a doctor's appointment up the street at eleven fifteen, and then I'll okay. be there but from two to three I have like six agents coming in maybe not six five oh my god for, for zip, zip forms. forms at all different times well it there's a group of them from two to three. Oh, okay that's good yeah see but the training was so simple <laughs> tell me about well it. it's the ones that don't you know it's the ones don't ever use a computer <laughs> yeah mm. that's the so. <laughs> Gotcha. All right. Well, thanks, guys. You're welcome. And, and this recording. And we'll get there. You're going to get 25 leads for next week. Okay, honey? Have a great okay. time. Thank you. Yes, Fingers have crossed for you. Thanks. I'll let you know. I'll uh, Hopefully, I'll know by tonight, and I'll, I'll shoot you a text. Let me know. Now. Okay, hon. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.